guys welcome back to another video we're literally about 30 seconds past just recording our daily vlog <laughs> but we're doing our special food vlog now as molly said in the vlog previously we've spotted what we want to eat so i'm getting in there and we're going to show you the best food that filipino food that london has to offer i know it's more of a dessert but we're going to get two charon first i think because we love it we had it in new zealand it was amazing we'll eat it last but i'm going to buy it first yes thank you coming right up Thank you very much. So we've got the tutor on. This is going to have to wait because we're going to go around to all the stalls and get a little something from each one so we get a feel of everything here. So it's just cooked differently, it has a lot more flavour, a lot more egg. I think it's a lot sweeter. That's good bread. Hand is out. We're gonna have to get a loaf of it. <laughs> Could I get uh, one? Thank you. Uh, I'm okay, thank you. Thanks. What did you go for? So, I've gone for a sisig. You know, oh, I love it. You do I love get a sisig. Of it. I like to prepare them everywhere. And this is meant to be the best in London. So, whilst Matt's sisig is being cooked, I have spotted this. So, we have Filipino inspired wraps. Now, they do chicken in a sal in a wrap, and I just need to try it. Um, can I get the chicken in a sal wrap, please? Sure, yeah. So excited, and the charum to oh, finish yeah. off. Forgot about that. I don't know if you can see how much I've got in my hands, but I've just want to eat now. So we're now just trying to find. The, that's the spot. Yeah, perfect spot. We've found the spot. This is our eating <laughs> spot, Filipino picnic style. Oh. I'm getting involved in this sisig straight away. Let me see it before you. Oh my so gosh, that looks sprinkling. We should have done that for B-roll. Come on, oh. B-roll. That is how you squeeze a lime, right? I'm getting involved. This looks really good. So it's got a load of carrot in it. Is that a lot of carrot to you? I think it's grated carrot. Yeah, it is. It's like coleslaw. Asian that's different. slaw. It's like, that's different. It's like, a, it's like a carrot. I haven't had that in a system before. The meat. Oh, it looks so good. And the rice. I'll mix, mix it, it all in. I'm giving it a good mix. Mm. It's sweet but spicy, if that makes any sense. Is it a bit too spicy because you just coughed? <laughs> it was a little cough, but it is lovely. Oh, I love the spring onion in it. I love spring onion. That does give it that, that little zest, that little something different. And the carrot is it's very strange, but mm. it's so succulent. Um, frying it everywhere. <laughs> It's incredible. I'm really surprised about the carrot. Comment below, is that a thing that you sometimes put carrot in a sissy? I'm actually loving this. Sitting on a field, listening to Filipino beats, eating Philly eats. Everyone's just enjoying themselves, having a good time. But that spice is starting to hit the back of my throat. You're going to have to try this in a minute. Seeing as the Filipino culture is all about sharing food, I've gone right in and I'm going to steal some of his sissy. So let's get a big lump of rice and some carrot and some meat. Wow. Okay. That's like, the meat's really soft but crispy on the outside. Rice, as always, perfect. Love that spring onion. Love like the coriander. See what he means about the carrot. But I think the carrot just gives it a bit of moisture um, because there's not much sauce with it. But it's really zesty. I'm, I'm, I might have this for myself, I can't lie. 
Okay, well now Matt's had all of his time to eat, it's my time to eat. Can I have it? So, this one is the chicken in a sal, so it's chicken and lemongrass in a Filipino style wrap. So it's pretty much in a naan type bread, which is sort of, you know, not Filipino, but I'm quite looking forward to it. I'll just show you, look at that. Right. Let me get in. So. Mm. Wow. Oh my God. So it's really zesty, really fresh. So moist as well, the chicken. But very lemony, I really like that. It's very fresh, very summery, it feels really nice. And I love the fact that it's in this like thick bread. It seems to, it's obviously gonna be more filling, but it also takes it away from being like a normal wrap, which I really love. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Due to my sissy, I'm taking a wrap. Fudge over, it's Matt's turn to talk about the food. Thank you. No way. Here we go. Oh, I love it in a naan bread. It's like a Filipino Indian, isn't it? You mm. took a huge bite. Huge bite. Oh my god. Mm. Good, right? So different, but so nice. That is like perfect for summer. Zesty, like Molly said. A little bit sweet, and then the naan bread just holds it all together perfectly. It gives it that thick, doughy like texture. I'll let Molly take over. Part nine, didn't have it when we were in the Philippines. Um, it was amazing, deep fried spring roll with banana, and we had ice cream for our last one. This one seems to have like a chocolatey sauce, you see? I'm just gonna get straight involved. I'm not even gonna break it off, I'm biting into that. Oh my God, yeah. Sugar overload. <laughs> it's a little bit healthy with a banana though, you need to remember that. Um, Really good. The spring rolls a lot nicer than what we had in New Zealand, I must be honest. It's a lot crunchier. Um, the banana tastes a lot more fresh. You get that fruity zest from it. The chocolate fruit sauce is definitely an added bonus. I prefer that to the ice cream. It's my turn. I can see what he means. Can you see it like glistening there? It's insane, but let's try. Well, that's a big bite. Go on, Molly. Wow. Okay. So, the first bite is a bit like barbecue. Did you find that? Barbecue, yeah. yeah I can see what you mean. But it's very sweet, very banana y. It's so crispy. Oh, heaven. I think. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We've messed up the food video. I didn't get hello, hello. I'm going to go over there now. And try some of London's best hello hello. I couldn't finish off a vlog that hello hello, could I? So I'm now on my way to get it, but the problem is that every store seems to do hello hello. Like how do I decide which one's best? It's like who has the right combination of everything to get the best one. I also need a drink. I'm really full. I don't know if this was a good idea, gonna get more food, but we'll see how it goes. One. Oh my gosh. Hello, hello. I'm sorry I did interrupt, but I thought we needed it before. We couldn't finish a food. And we, I was told by the lady, mix, because mix that well. Apparently a lot of the sugar's at the bottom in this one. I think that's a good enough mix. They're so hard to mix without overflowing, but I've managed to do it. So you can see all the jelly bits have come up to the top. Some of the sugar's worked its way up, but I think I've just got to try it. Have a look. Oh, there's a big jelly bit there. Is there a brain there? Oh, 
Wow. Right, it's so right, coconutty, right, this right. one. Super sweet. I can definitely taste the condensed milk. That's got to be the best one we've tried. There's so much inside there. I've got to give Molly a bit of credit here. She's actually mixed it really well. And there seems to be the right amount of ice, leche, flan, ube ice cream, the jelly balls. I still don't know the name of the jelly balls. Comment below what is the actual name of the jelly balls. I'm going to get involved, though, it's really hot and this is going to melt. Okay. When I say Kretschuk, I always start with an okay. I need to change that. Um, really, really sweet. Wow. It's so good. And it seems to have the right combination, like I said, of everything. And I love the ice cream they're using this one. It's got that extra little zest. I'm really, really impressed with that. But unfortunately, it's so hot, it's melting. So it's just going to have to be a straight drink. Wow, wow, <laughs> wow. I am absolutely stuffed. Me too. That was so good. It was so nice to try things that we've tried already um, and try them again and again. And again and again. But, <laughs> but with like so a London twist, like with the naan bread. I know it's a bit of an Indian twist, but it was just nice to see the best Filipino food that London has to offer. Yeah. And we hope you have enjoyed this video. We'll be going back to the daily vlog any minute now. So <laughs> we're going to wrap this one up because we are stuffed. We've got to like walk this off. We've got to walk around, meet some more people maybe eat some more food later <laughs> but we're gonna wrap it up so if you're new to the channel and if you enjoyed this video hit that subscribe drop us a like and keep on dabbling <laughs>